Okay, looks like the pace car is in, folks. We're going to go racing here with the street stock feature. This will be for 12 laps. This will be for 12 laps. Limited late models waiting patiently through this melee to for their stop. 37 to Larry Hoiston takes command right off the bat with Randy Woodick right there with him. The car number 711 of Cricket Mandigo along with the five of Kenny Clark. I was watching the car number two of Dave Federley skate through the infield there in this Ford machine as they jockey for race room down the back stretch. Randy Rudrick in the car number 34, the car number 37 of Larry Hoiston, along with the car number 93 of Steve Side, the car number 5 of Kenny Clark, along with the car number 88 of Al Pitts. And this will be the first time that Randy has had the lead in the feature in some time, and he'll be a tough one to catch out there. That car probably not up to horsepower as some of these, but probably one of the better drivers, better handling machines. Out on the speedway, the 34 of Randy Woodrick, the 93 of Steve Side, the 5 of Kenny Clark starts to make his move. The car number 37 of Larry Hoiston, along with the car number 88 of Al Pitts, the 93 of Steve Side, the 47 of Timmy Clark, along with the 111 of Tony St. Mary, the car number 9 of Paul Calhoun, the car number 11 of Greg Gould, the 77 of Al Kirby, along with the car number 2 of David Federley, the car number 24 of Jimmy Narrow. As we work in lap number 2 with 10 laps to go. Taking him off the back stretch right now, comfortably for the young dairy farmer out of Krogan, New York, as the car number 18, the new car out there, of Ray Mitchell right in the back seat. Now he starts to set it out with the car number 60 of Bill Gill. Bill way off the pace tonight in that new number 60 out there as he starts to make his way up through. He is your number one in points, as we said before. 10 points ahead of Randy Woodrick. And Randy right now with his lead being shortened out there by the five of uh, Kenny Clark, the 34 Randy Woodick, that lead has now gone to one car length as Kenny Clark right in the back seat with him. Both of these guys winning two or three features in the 88th racing season last year. Well, they get together in turn number one. They, well, they got him again. The car number 11, the great Gould, the 27, Jimmy Narrow coming together. And Gould continues right on. Kenny Clark in trouble. Kenny Clark in trouble in turn number one and two. And they bring him down to a stop. Kenny Clark in the car number five, who was running. Three laps have been complete. Who was? The car number 111, Tony St. Mary, in the fifth. Again, three laps in the book, and nine remain. The car number 111 of Tony St. Mary's in the pits. Right now it's Randy Woodrick, the young man out of uh, a dairy farmer himself, out of Kogan, New York, with some nice sponsorship. And that car has been a strong car for him ever since he's had it. Probably one of the better handling cars out on the speedway for these street stocks. The car number 37 of Larry Hoiston. The car number 88 of Al Pitts. The car number 12 along with Cricket Mandigo. The 93 of Steve Side, along with the car number 47 of, of uh, Timmy Clark. The car number 9 of Paul Calhoun. The two of Dave Federley. Now Bill Gill starts to unwind it over there in the backstretch. Gill with his Chevrolet on the back of that Ford. And Dave Federley, another guy that's impressed me, he and Steve Side as rookies out there, doing a real good job. The 93 car and the two car, as they get stronger each week, they bring them off the point. The car number. 34 of Randy Woodard, the 37 of Larry Hoyston, the car number 88 of Al Pitts. The car number 711 of Cricket Mandigo, the 93 of Steve Side, the car number 47 of Timmy Clark. And now you can start to see Bill Gill move out there. Randy Whitaker driving his own race to win or lose. He's taking exactly what he should be doing out there. Making two cars, trying to make something out of it. Up against the wall is Mandigo. Right down in front of the Gill machine. Gill gets caught in traffic. Timmy Clark gets into the side. Way to the outside goes Dave Friendly, but he brought it back. And Timmy Mandigo, excuse me, Timmy Clark slows down a little bit. As again, trying to watch the 60 of Bill Gill, your high point getter, starting to work his way through traffic. Way to the outside goes Al Pitts. Lost a little bit of ground on that move out there as he tried to gather it up as quick as he possibly could in lap number seven. Working lap number seven. Remember, this is a 12 lap feature with five laps to go. Now we come into lap number eight. This is a 12 lap feature go. Bring him off the point right now, the 34 of Randy Woodrick, the 37 of Larry Hoiston. 
The car number 88 of Al Pitt. The car number 60 of Bill Gill. The car number 93 of Steve Side, along with the 711 of Cricket Mandigo. A lot of smoke showing out of the back of the Federley car. The Ford right down in front, smoking quite heavily as he puts his foot in it in the corners. As we work lap number eight, coming into lap number nine with three laps to go. Again, Woodrick hoisting, working on the outside. Larry trying to shut the door, not that time, as Randy drives on. A car going in the fifth, I think. The R5 machine, the Simpkins car, going in the fifth. Down the pack stretch, hoisting. I don't think traffic is going to be a problem. Again, smoke showing out of the Federley car as the car number nine, I believe it is, uh, Paul Calhoun goes in the pit area. Two laps to go. Can he hang on as Hoyston gets quicker each lap out there? And Al Pitts and now Bill Gill starts to make his move. Gill working on the back of the car number 88 of Al Pitts. Right now, this could be a problem coming up on traffic as we work in lap number 10. The white flag will be coming out. Way at Randy Woodrick in traffic. Back of the Jimmy Narrows car. Larry Hoyston right there with him. So is Bill Gill. So is Al Pitts. This is not over yet, folks. This is not over. Randy goes to the inside under white flag lap. Jimmy Narrows right there with him, along with the car number 37 of Larry Hoyston. Good racing. Good racing. There we go. Up on the back stretch. A lot of cars will be a question on this one. Now Randy Woodrick goes up on the back, along with the car number 77 of Al Kirby. Nice job of driving in traffic by all four of those cars. Nice job of driving. Bringing it off the point right now, the car number 34, Randy Woodrick takes it home. The car 37, Larry Hoyton is second, Al Pitts is third, Bill Gill is fourth, and so on down the line. Here he comes. This will put Randy number one in points, I believe. It's going to be close. Maybe, maybe not. They're 10 points difference, so we'll have to check it out. A good hard charger. As I said before, one of the better handling cars out on the speedway. Once he gets the lead, he's going to be a tough one to get by. There he is. Let's give him a nice can-am walk on the number 34, Rampant Randy Woodrick. Get right over here, Randy. There we go. Flick sand and gravel night here at the Speedway. See you one more. Social fastidious foods. Dick, I want a picture of the driver and the girl, not just the girl. That's hard to put them off. No, just the girl. I was driving. Okay, what are you with the family? Okay, hop right over, Randy. Randy, the... His hero is Richard Petty. He took the Richard Petty numbers and inverted them, and he named his first son Kyle. There we go. Congratulations, old timer. Good run. How's the track working out there? Oh, better than what I thought. Good, good running. Did you do anything to the car during the week at all? Get a little more horsepower out of it? Not horsepower. We've been changing shocks and springs and everything else. The 37 of Hoisin and Pitts were making a run at you out there, but they just couldn't couldn't get a hold of you. You had a good bite tonight. Yeah, I was getting a good bite off the corners, but still, I'm still spinning tires more than what Wait, I really? should. Yeah. Oh, you, got the, you got the power then. Yeah. You just can't get it under the track. Right. Okay, let's give a nice round of applause to 34, Randy Woodrick. Good run, Randy. Good run. Okay, here we go. Limited late model.